थ्री फोर आइटम है मलर्ट पर्सनल अपियरेंस है डी एम एस पी बहुत ऑफ देम हेर मलर्ट ऑफ विच प्लेस इन मलर्ट क्रिमिनल रीट नंबर वन फोर जीरो फोर कस्टोडियल डेथ का वो केस है विच प्लेस दरभंगा वो था रे हर मलर्टर Did you inquire into that? Yes, sir. We reviewed. Uh, What is the position? Post, post mortem, sir. No external injury was found. We called uh, doctor who who has done post mortem report. So according to doctors, uh, cardio uh, pulmonary failure was reason. No, but several injuries have been noticed on his body. That is the case if I correctly remember. Sir, हम लोगों ने. He has he has suffered injury on his head. Sir. and then he has several sign of assault on his body certain marks of electrocution also yes. electrocution also sir back side jo hai wo death hone ke baad jo hai gravitational force se jo blood jama hota hai uske karan wo yellowish dikh raha tha sir humne doctor se is mamle mein uh, detail mein discussion bhi kiya ye uska postmortem ka aapne dekha cctv wagera cctv footage bhi dekha hai sir it was conducted under the cctv uh, ji sir footage ke uh, videography footage ke sath kiya gaya hai sir kiya gaya hai ji sir सर ये ह्यूमन राइट कमीशन में भी मैटर है सर और जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी भी इसकी चल रही है जैसा कस्टोडियल डेथ में होता है सर ओल्ड मार्क पैर पे कट के हैं एक आईज के पास एवरेजन था जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी इज गोइंग ऑन जी सर हु इज कंडक्टिंग द इंक्वायरी सर सम मुंसिप जज आई डोंट रिमेंबर द नेम सर बट इट्स इन द प्रोग्रेस एक तो गवाहों का गवाही उनके यहां बचा हुआ है बात हुई थी हमारे ऑफिस से तो उसके बाद उनका रिपोर्ट मिलेगा Well, even assuming everything to be true, I am asking this question. No, no. Myself. Then there is an another issue, na? If a judicial inquiry has already been instituted, and that is going on, you should have disclosed that in your petition. That that was not in formulas, and most moreover, they they refuse to register the FIR against the certain incidents. You you are not understanding. A judicial inquiry is in accordance with the provisions of the CRPC. Well, yes. If that has already been instituted, then in that inquiry would only reveal, after taking a statement of all the witnesses, the <coughs> learned magistrate shall record his opinion. But information in that regard was not brought to the notice of the petitioner. Not brought to the notice of the petitioner. Petitioner has not been called. Okay. How it can be? He is saying that witnesses have been examined. Yes. Sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. How many witnesses have been examined? Sir, I don't know the exact numbers, but I was informed that two gawar are still alive in that judicial inquiry. Do you know some case number, number etc.? Who has instructed you on this? Uh, sir, my office staff has. Ask him what is the case number. Uh, so that he is aware inquiry. of. Sir, the judicial inquiry number, sir. Yes, case number and then uh, what is the present <coughs> stage of that judicial inquiry? Uh, I would have called for a report from the learned <coughs> magistrate itself. But he says that it is not within his knowledge, in the knowledge of this petitioner. Sir, we don't uh, get information from the uh, judge who is conducting the inquiry, sir. We just uh, no. They must have called you. Yes, sir. My because the incident took place in the jail, sir. He must have called the jail authorities. Must have called the jail authorities. Sir, sure. Sir. Must have been recording the statement of the witnesses. SP office is not uh, under information of any of this. Has no information. Do one thing: find out from the jail superintendent. Sir. And if may, you call upon your client, Billers. ask her what is the present position of this inquiry. Because it would not be proper to pass order when the judicial inquiry is already going on. Billers. Okay. I will not even record his statement because that may prejudice the inquiry. Look here, first one to the last order. Do you have any report on this? Have you prepared any report? Yes, sir, we have submitted. I filed my contract. <coughs> you have filed this with counter affidavit. My report with all the reports, madam.
cases of custodial death are increasing. This court is finding that is one after another, every week I am finding one case or two cases coming to me in which custodial death is being released. And uh, I don't know what is the present position of inquiry, but Prama Fisai he had satisfied me that day, showing several photographs of the deceased. This may apparently those injuries may be noticed by anybody with naked eyes. When did you join at this place at Darbanga? Sir, January this year, sir. January this year. And this occurrence is of? Uh, June, sir. June. Sir. So it is during your period. Sir. Please give person to the last order, the district magistrate. Your name, please? Rajiv Roshan, sir. Mr. Rajiv Roshan and Mr. and Mr. Swenso? Avakash Kumar. Mr. Avakash Kumar, the superintendent of police. The Banga are present. We'll stop the counter affidavit has been filed. We'll stop next at this stage. It has been informed to this court by the district magistrate Darbhanga that in this matter a judicial inquiry is going on by a learned judicial magistrate of the district court at Darbhanga. We'll stop. The superintendent of police has informed that, in fact, some of the witnesses have also been examined, but he is not fully aware of the present stage of the said proceeding. Next. In the aforementioned circumstance, <coughs> this case is being adjourned to 16th of January 2023. Please stop. The petitioner shall file a supplementary affidavit stating the <coughs> present stage of the judicial inquiry. Next, also call for a report from the district judge Darbhanga as regards the pending judicial inquiry and <coughs> stage of the same as also the time likely to be taken in conclusion thereof by the learned magistrate. Please stop. List accordingly, personal appearance of the district magistrate and the superintendent of police, Tarbanga, is dispensed with. Yes.